Oh crap! Oh god! Um, an efficient battle strategy is the key to victory. Use, uh, right? When up against a powerful enemy, switch to train shields, a defensive paradigm dominated by sentinels that can mit that can mitigate damage. Um, use powerful text swipe when you see him put out only she attack press to perform all right all right um, the sentinels roll bonus is damage reduction and switching an ally alrighty um, so let's start off this fight with uh, no, no 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 let's start off this fight with Ravenger so his name is Gok my Gok <laughs> what up Gok my Gok how are you doing so let's stagger this guy so he's using swipe right now, so now let's use swing shields and buff each other. Um, no, I've made the same mistake again, we're not buffing each other, we're like unbuffing him. That's pretty much how you can call it. So um, he isn't very strong at all, but uh, oh, something else what I really want to do is make a tutorial for every boss that I'm fighting. So what that basically means is... Um, like you have these battles with bosses that take extremely long and that might be a little bit boring to watch but some people are really having trouble on fighting these bosses and this is still a boss in the beginning so it won't be that of a problem but bosses later on I'm pretty sure why a lot of people are having trouble on fighting, the, fighting that boss so I was kind of um, he's pretty, almost killing us but I was like thinking I can make tutorials on how to kill that boss, that's what a lot of people are doing and I think that it will help a, a lot of people. And we're like almost dead, but he is always also almost dead, so alright, there we go. We beat him, <clears throat> so what I'm basically doing is, I defa defeated this guy in the live playthrough, but I will use the same footage to make a tutorial for it on a in a different video, so only for the people that are having trouble on defeating the boss. That's basically what it is and where it's for. So I hope you guys enjoyed that idea. So we discard a fragment by resolving the anomalies along the timeline. You will obtain special objects known as fragments. Objects. Fragments are memories of time solidified into shards, each containing a valuable piece of knowledge of, or slice of history. All right. To view the fragments, uh, there are 160 fragments hidden in the world. Total fragments can tell you how many of them you have discovered. All right. Right, so I guess that once you defeat a boss like this or something, it will leave a fragment and that's a piece of time. Probably a piece of time from a different century. So, and I know that you can time travel, so I guess that you can use those fragments to travel to the century that's blended in with this century. That's pretty much it, I guess. And I'm talking like a damn lot this video. And I'm sorry if you don't like that, but um, I'm trying to explain as much as I can right now because it's the start of the game and everything and I like explaining and helping you guys. So um, please tell me if you like me to explain everything for you because I'm pretty sure that not all of my subscribers that are watching this are actually having this game. So do you want me to explain everything or do you just want me to um, pretty much experience the game. I'm kind of wondering about that. I think I'm doing a good job right now, but I'm not sure. So please tell me. So we have the media right here, and um, let's let's examine it. Let's see what's going on with this thing. What is that place, Noel? Do you know? Yeah. Uh, wait. What happened to Cocoon? It's not there. Well, you're looking at a different time. That's the world I come from. In my world, Cocoon doesn't exist. When I was born, the sky was already empty. Tell me, how many years has it been since Ragnarok appeared and Cocoon fell? Well, it's 3 AF. So that was three years ago. For me, all that happened 700 years in the past. I was born and raised in another time. 700 years in the future. Yes, I knew it. I knew you weren't from this world. I'm the last of humanity. Hey! Sarah, 
I can take you there. We can find Lightning together. I know she wants to see you. You're full of it! Yeah, that's impossible! Lightning's gone, man. Goodell. <sighs> Noel, do you know where my sister is? Come with me. Ah, it's a time, it's a time gate. gate. What do you mean? Wow. Time gate. What the? It's like a portal. Lightning is in a place oh. called Valhalla. She's waiting on the other side. Oh. I couldn't turn my eyes away. I knew the answer lay beyond that gate. The answer to my doubts and dreams. Oh. On the broad plain beneath Cocoon, my sister once celebrated my marriage to Snow. I remember her smile like it was yesterday. But sometime, when I wasn't looking, she disappeared. She was gone as if she'd never been there in the first place. Lightning, are you out there? Did I dream that day on Pulse, or did it really happen? Noel says he can find you, but is he telling the truth? Noel's world was a terrible place where Cocoon did not exist. He had traveled back in time to change that bleak future. Or so he told us. Listen, when different eras overlap, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. Objects from different times get mixed up. If you want to open a gate and travel through time, you have to find one of those objects. They're called artifacts. Uh, artifacts? The keys to the future. Hmm. They're anachronisms, relics of a different world. Basically, things that don't belong in your time. If we can find one, we might be able to use it to open the gate. Then we could cross time and travel to Lightning's world. Hmm. Could Noel be telling the truth? Beyond that gate, in a place called Valhalla, is Lightning alive and waiting for me? Can I dare to hope again, after all this time? Oh, how I want to believe. I want my sister back. So much happened the night the meteorite fell. We all had a lot to think about. I wonder if anyone slept. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. Good to see you up. Healthy, still alive. So no, ah, nice. I can enter the para, the party paradigms, and the crystarium also, also awesome. I mean, also, also awesome. I'm sorry. So, uh, what, what the heck is this? Um, bam! Life trigger rewards. You obtain. What the heck? Um, I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll find out later on, I guess. So, now let's see what we can do. Um, so we have to party paradigms. So the party paradig paradigms. <coughs> oh, damn it. So we have commander, commander. We have ravager, commando. We have commander, sentinel, and sentinel, sentinel. So we have a few things that we don't have. Um, we have... We do not have a ravager, ravager. And ravager, ravager is actually better to make a opponent stagger very fast. It's, uh, it says it, it also says it improved chaining so that's a cool thing and we also don't have a sentinel commando so that's also a thing that you want to have just um you know just to make sure so we have two different misdirections but uh, they both have different spells i guess so that's pretty much something that you want to have and i'm actually kind of looking for a heal spell but we don't have that yet so those are the paradig paradigms that i'm using so um let's check out my crystarium so <coughs> The Chrysarium. Um, so let's check out Sarah first. Now, um, we, we, of course, we start off at like um, this place, I guess. Alright, no, I really don't get it. 
to be honest. Um, Sarah, yes. Let's just level this. All right. Um, Sarah is pretty strong at magic, so um, we'll use her as a Ravager. Let's make her a strong Ravager so we can boost the chains very quick. Um, <clears throat> so what else do we have? We have some more Crystal Gem points, so we can make her a stronger Ravager, so let's do that. Um, yes. The 7, it also gives me more magic points and health, as you can see the, the little heart and the... How the heck do you call it? The magic staff, yes, that's what it is. So. The next spell is something random, it's not like a different spell or anything, so let's do that. Um, so we have Flame Strike, I pressed that button by accident. So learn Flame Strike, alright. Now, that's, that's pretty much it for the, the Ravager, I'm a pretty strong Ravager now. Now let's check out Tentinel. Um, let's make her Seal Guard so I can buff myself, I guess. Let's see what Seal Guard does, can I check that out? I'm not sure how this is working. Um, Alright, Seal Guard. Um, how can I see what Seal Guard does? I'm kind of wondering about what Seal Guard does. Maybe I should check that out in a different menu. But um, let's put some points in Commando because um, Commando Commando is pretty strong. Now we have Blitz. Um, when I'm pretty much out of Crystal Gem points. Oh. Alright, so we have a level 4 Sentinel and a level 6 Ravager. Alright, so that's the strategy that I'm using right now. And I pretty much explained to you why. Now let's check out Noel. Noel is a strong commando. But, um, yeah. So let's let's train this commando uh, stuff first. Because he's the one that you want to have to do the serious damage and everything. You pretty much want Sarah to... You pretty much want Sarah to use the Ravager tactics and rack up those chains and you want um, Noel to keep those chains um, like the you pretty much want to keep those chains not degenerate very fast. So that's where you want Noel that's where Noel help you, so you pretty much want to train that a lot. Um, a little bit Ravager to rack up those chains even quicker if the enemy is like pretty much vulnerable to those chain magic through those Ravager attacks. Um, so you can put some crystal gem points in those. I'm not using it a lot, so we have Metaguard, so we can buff ourselves and debuff the enemies. I think that that's where Sentinel is for, if I'm right. I'm not 100% sure, of course, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So not too much of Ravager, but a lot of, but a lot of in Commando and some, some crystal gem points in Sentinel. That's pretty much what you want to do for now, um, and this is pretty much the strategy that you want to have till like you get more more uh, characters in the game and everything so um yes i will also be putting those chrysogen tactics in a different uh in a different commentary because that's where a lot of people will be looking for it so i'm including those in my videos but also in my uh different videos so i'll be uploading a lot of uh final fantasy videos so uh please don't hate on it so we have fragments um yes that's something where I wanted to talk about because a lot of uh, things happened. Um, one of the things that happened is Noel comes from the future, 700 years in the future. So that basically means that he is the last uh, man, the last human of humanity. So something strange happened that destroyed pretty much everyone in that future. Um, Cocoon is gone, there is no moon anymore, no cocoon anymore. So something must have happened and Noel is here to stop that, so I was right in saying that he was able to chase the future. Now, let's get the heck out of here and continue the lovely game Final Fantasy. Sarah, wait up for me. All this talk about artifacts and gates and time travel, to be honest, I don't know if I'm ready to believe it. Sarah. There's still so much I don't understand myself. <laughs> if we can actually find an artifact, then I'll know what I've been saying is true. And once we open the gate, you'll be able to put some of your doubts to rest as well. So what do you think? Will you search for the answers with me? Yes, I will. I will. When searching for the artifacts and treasure spares, Pay attention to the Moogle's bubble. It will glow when the vicinity of special items and other treasures 
find the places that trigger the Mughal's bubble and examine the uncovered treasure using A. Give me a chance and I'll prove that it's true. Okay, so, um, search for artifacts, alright, I will do that later on, but let's have a little talk with, I'll answer um, as best I can. Oh, okay. Okay, no one wants to search for an artifact to open a gate. Maybe I find I can find out more. What is a muggle? Muggle. How do you know lightning? What is this gate? Uh, I pretty much know about all of that. So, um, a world without cocoon. What is a what? <laughs> what's with the is muggle? Really muggle. He sure looks like one. But to be honest, I really don't know. Lightning just called him a good luck charm. I remember that part. And that's what she said in the dream I had. That's what she said. You saw the future. What that means. <laughs> He's like, nah, never mind. It's uh, my mind spin is a little bit too weird, so never mind. But guys, um, one other thing. Uh, he was talking about the artifacts, and those artifacts don't belong in this world, but because um, of the meteor, different centuries have blended in each other, and those artifacts come from a different century. And we can use those artifacts to travel to that century and like change things. So the, basically, the thing that we want to do is find an artifact of Valhalla. So we can like travel to Valhalla and see lightning. That's the thing, What what's actually the point right now. And I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm explaining a lot because I'm pretty good at understanding stories like this when I see them the first time. And I'm kind of got the knowledge that a lot of people don't have that so that a lot of people are getting confused by those stories so I'm here to explain it for you so if you have any questions if you have any if I don't know if you have any questions about the game a strategy or on how to on how to how the story is turning out uh, like depending on this chapter please ask me I'm very eager to answer it so I will end the video here um, I will cut every episode I have so I recorded for one hour straight right now and I will cut everything into 20 minute pieces so and so on so on so I'll end the recording here or I will continue later on but this will be the first part of my recording so I will see you guys next time I'm out deuces